you got to win the daily fights day in and day out. So we gave the guys a little uh, boxing glove keychain where individually, you know, everyone's playing for a little bit different things, individual to themselves and, and whatever that individual fight is. You know, I really kind of think that's a life hack to where if you know what you're fighting for, again, it gives you purpose, it gives you motivation, it gives you energy day in and day out to, to go step back into the ring. finally get to win a bowl game and get to enjoy it a little bit and then to kind of have some of the rewards there that we reap taken away. It was a lot of change in 2020 season. It was a little harder to adapt. It's just kind of another step and something we kind of have to take from and learn from for this upcoming season. It was a, a year of growth. You know, we had a lot of setbacks. You got to control what you could control. And just being tough, um, whatever's thrown at you, just overcoming that adversity and getting the outcome of whatever was destined for you thankful with the leadership that we were able to play, but something was missing. In this family, you're only as good as your last outing, and our last outing was not a good representation of us. We went out and started 3-0, um, felt really good about ourselves, but we talk about all the time is we're a product of what we last did on the field. And right now, our last performance was out there at Buffalo. So we had to sit on that and work through that from December when that happened. We didn't accomplish any of our goals last year. You know, we had um, a lot of success on offense, which was great as an offensive player doing that. But as a team, we didn't accomplish what we wanted to accomplish. Buffalo goes to 4-0. Kent State loses for the first time in 2020. The seven-game winning streak comes to an end, and UB wins it 70-41. to we're kind of in a little bit of a state of unknown right now as far as what we're going to do this fall, what the conference is going to permit. So we've taken control, again, of what we can control. Well, we had to adjust a lot with meetings and, and having groups of people together. We were, you know, forced to deal with some things that we hadn't yet in probably any of our careers. And I think it was a story of, you know, some pretty positive responses. It revealed uh, chinks in our armor and things that we can go back and fix and get better at. The time that needs to be spent on the culture and the connection and making sure that your people are good before you dive into the football world, that individuals are good and that it, it, it takes individual time and our culture pulled us through all that. With all the adversity that 20 brought, uh, it brought us together a little bit closer. Uh, we figured out we could do things differently and still succeed. We all had a lot of time to reflect about what we need to get better at, and that's a hard thing to do. Getting this thing rolling and, and seeing how much we've grown in a year and a half, it feels like forever since we've been on the field. It's an exciting time, and especially with camp being right around the corner, like everybody starts to get uh, pretty excited, start getting some jitters, you know what I mean? Like everybody's just really, really excited to get the season going. I couldn't be happier for this being the first big event of us being back. Can't wait to see everyone in the fall. To be out there, to shake hands, to get to talk to people face to face, um, it's, it's great, it's, it's, it's everything. And so to see the support from the administration putting that thing on and to see all the fans that, that, and, and supporters that came out to be a part of that event was really exciting. And to be back around the greater Kent community, Northeast Ohio, to get people back uh, you know, to town and just be able to reconnect and be able to shake a hand, give a hug, that we were able to do that day, which was phenomenal. Other alumni that were at the event, familiar faces, you know, and it, it was kind of surreal, you know, but it's awesome to see the excitement back in the program. It's excitement everywhere, and as an alum, of this place, I think it's it's refreshing. They gifted us with this extra year, so me being able to take advantage of that and having one more year with this family and this program, I feel like we're like more like united as a team, got more confidence to us. Everything we do, there's just a, a different level of focus and intensity on on it, and we know where we're at. We know what we could do, and we just we just want to make everything out of every minute you have as a team and as a whole if, for this 2021 season. We have laid a great foundation because of all the guys who have come through in the past, and I don't even think we're close to reaching our ceiling, and that really, really excites me for you know, where we're going to go and how we're going to improve.
camp season. Day one energy is great, and just like I told the guys at the end, it's easy to have energy on day one. Now we got to see if we can sustain it to have an elite camp. First of all, he walk into any big meet and he gonna do this. You know, he gotta make sure he gotta make sure his arms is looking right. That might be, give me a little bit of trouble, but he gotta make sure his arms looking right.